Hello there. So Adobe Firefly, the beta version, just introduced new recolor vectors, new AI options that we can do with the images. So let's go ahead and test how it's work. If you don't have a vector image that you want to work, it's okay. What we're going to do is do step by step creating one. One, I want to go to text to image. Let's go click on this. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just type very angry gnome eating mushroom on a field watercolor isolated. So let's go ahead and click generate. Of course, as we're generating, we have it pop up in our um, editing. <laughs> we can create all the stuff. And right here, I think I will use it this one. So I'm going to select this image. And right now when I'm render already done, go ahead and download this image. So, but when we downloaded image, this is just a raster image. To convert this to SVG, what we want to do is going to the adobe.com express. It's a free tool online as well. And if we're going down, you'll notice right here it says convert to SVG. So let's go ahead and click on this. And this is should open for us. Notice this file we just downloaded. I'm just going drag and drop inside. And here is come vectorize our image. After it's completed, let's go ahead and click download as well. After download is done, we'll go back to our main image and going to recolor vector. So right here you can see we have it SVG. We'll just take the same file we just created and upload it. Upload it in a Chrome very easy. Just take from down, drag and drop. Notice it's come up right here and says we want to describe the color palette. Let's go type Rococo, just make different pastel colors. Let's click generate. And here we have a different coloring version of this. Of course, some of this earthy, I don't think it's a more Barocco than Rococo because it should be more pastel lighter colors, but it still work very interesting and well. On the right side, you notice we still have it images. We have it sample prompt so we can modify as well, we have a different um, harmony if you need for the image and different coloring. So let's go ahead and, for example, if we use it maybe just like this, that one harmony. And I think this is create a little bit more interesting colorizations. Overall, it's a nice tool to create variations on the vector based images. And you can see how in the same tool inside the Adobe Firefly, you can create image, you're going to express convert this to SVG and next colorize. Most likely in the future, they will have it um, rasterized to vector directly inside a Firefly, but for now you need to have this step. And if image work very well, text effect actually work a little bit better with this, because in this case, we can take letters, make literally vector from them and look on different colorizations because when you overlay maybe on your title, it's much nicer to see all these different possible colorizations we can do it. So let's go ahead right here. We have it our Firefly text created. I don't want any background color, so we'll say no color. And as well, let's just select maybe different type of text and remove our background color. I think this is kind of coming okay. Maybe let's look right there. Okay, I think this is work nice for our text. We could add a little bit more branches like lose and lose what it does. You can see on the edges it will add more effect. It's not bad to try test, see how the vector will work in this case. And when it's done, we're going right here in a corner, pop up and click on download. And after download complete, we're going back to application we used before Express. We're going again, click convert to SVG, which is open for us interface. Take this file, drag and drop inside. After conversion is completed, let's go ahead and click download. Now we're going back to our Firefly. Let's go click on generate. Okay, take our SVG we created, uploading. Let's create um, fire, ice, air, earth. I don't know what's come up with this. We'll just put those ones and let's click generate. And here we have it definitely fire and earth and kind of air water, a little bit hotter, but you can see it's applied. Don't worry about the black background because it's a vector image now. 
when you open it, you can easy to go ahead and replace background with transparent or what you want it. But generally, you can see how it's modified colors. So it is recolor rec rec vectors. It is very interesting new features, but it is have it some limitations where you can use it. I only personally see it can use the for the text, maybe for the logos if you want to see different variations of the color of the logos, and uh, maybe. Uh, some products, but are most unlikely. So it's very limited use, but it's nice to see they are progressing and actually releasing new content in Adobe Firefly beta. Thank you for watching the videos. Let me know what you think. Have a great.